It was in front of a predominantly non-Indigenous audience that former Batchewana Chief Dean Sayers received his award. It's a position he frequently finds himself in. Organizations, the groups that I speak to now are, are mainstream Canadian people that are hungry for the perspective that might come from one of the Indigenous people in the area. I find there is quite the embrace of the perspective and the insights that are brought by an Indigenous person as opposed to somebody that talks about Native people. The award recognizes contributions to Sault Ste. Marie's cultural heritage. Sayers was instrumental in the creation and development of the Voices from the Gathering Place project, which serves as a historical resource for the Sault Ste. Marie region. Sayers says there was once a time when being recognized by a non-Indigenous entity for Indigenous cultural contributions was unheard of. It wasn't that long ago when we weren't allowed to talk about who we were we weren't allowed to speak our language. Uh, we weren't allowed to do our ceremonies. Uh, we weren't allowed to leave our communities. Things have evolved in the last couple of generations where we have a lot of freedoms. But with that freedom, there's also the freedom of expression, the freedom of our history, the freedom of our perspective. Sayers says the award comes in the spirit of reconciliation, and he hopes it plants the seeds to allow Indigenous people to reclaim our rightful place in society. Mike McDonald, APTN National News, Sault Ste. Marie.